All right, so I was asked to do a video on how to do lights. Um, what I've done is I've taken the default rear light 23 orange and broken it up um, to make a new light. You can see I've added in five LEDs in the middle, spread out the outer LEDs, and then um, cut the lens. Um, and the base so that now I have four parts that are going to be able to be lit up instead of just two. Um, so what we're going to do is I'm going to go to, uh, sorry, uh, viewport shading. All right. Um, now I'm going to uh, select one of the parts. I click from object mode, go to vertex paint. Select the paint color you want. So this is going to be all red. Um, what you can do is go to edit mode and make sure the vertices that you want to color are selected. Go back to vertex paint, click paint, set vertex colors. So here those are now red. Um, so I'm going to go do that with the other four parts because I'm going to have these all red. I've already selected the, ver the vertices. So as you can see there. All right, so now all four of them are colored. Um, so what I'll do now is nest these in, oops, nest these inside. And now I can export that. Right, export. Okay. So wrong one. Open it up. Now have to apply the materials. Actually, I'll show you how to do that. There's a quicker way of doing it than this. Um, so I'm gonna right click on the what I exported it from. Right click on the uh, new part, and edit it. Copy over the files. And then we need real light 23 mat one. Copy of that. Make sure you change the material ID back to the what it was. And then I think it was this one. Right here in a sec. See this changed to five because that's what it was in this one. But in this model it's two. Okay. Open it back up. Now you notice it's not there, so what we got to do is come here to shape. I'm going to do cast shadow maps and reset the tangents to true for all of them. zoom in and we have a light um, all right so what we can do now is you can actually go down turn the light control on and now you can see how these all light up. So that's it.